everybody, this is Jovanka from the 4 Week Detox Program and today I'm not in my regular setup because I am at Marika Vassell's office. Hey Marika! Hey Jovanka! <laughs> Marika is a yoga instructor and a, an alternative therapy practitioner specializing in colon cleansing and so this is what we are going to talk about with her today. So without further ado, thank you Marika thank for you being so here with us. Thank you for asking me to be here. I'm so honored. You're so awesome. <laughs> so beautiful. Thank you so thank much. You. So without further ado, tell us a little bit about colon cleansing. What is it? What is this all about? Well, first of all, there are many methods of colon cleansing. And you know, there are pills that they have in the stores that you can use. There's um, many different methods of colon hydrotherapy, colon irrigation. Um, and you know, today we're just talking about colon cleansing with the use of water. Mm -hmm. And um, one of the things that we find is that the bowel system is a dry organ. It's a hollow organ in a sense. So oftentimes, it needs a little help with water to help to so you know hydrate the matter so it can come out. Right. And I presume that with the diet that, that most people out there consume on a regular basis, you may need a little bit of a push, a little bit of help when exactly. it comes to cleansing your bowel. Exactly. I mean, with a lot of the processed foods and a lot of the fast foods and just the way we eat right now, it can create a little bit of a challenge and a slowness in matter coming out of the body. I see. So to have some additional support to help that process along, you know, is where colon cleansing is really good, especially Wonderful. with the use of water. Wonderful. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about how this works. So um, the method that I work with is a method called the Gravity Woods Gravity System. Okay. And um, I like it personally for me and from my experience is because it's a very gentle process of using water and it really helps support the body's own natural peristalsis and, per and natural movement okay. of um, just how you naturally evacuate the bowels. Um, and so it's very, it's, it's, it's very gentle. Okay. You know, um, and it's the simultaneous entrance of water and exit of water at the same time. Got it. And so how long does that process normally take? Well, um, it depends on the different methods that you choose. It can be anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, you know, an hour and 15 minutes. It just, it just depends on the person and the status of their body at the time. Okay. So I presume that during the process, you're with the, pa the, the patient, the, the person that wants to do the therapy. Right. With the Woods Gravity process, you are with, the practitioner is with the patient so that you, you know, the practitioner facilitates a lot of it with that particular method of colon cleansing. So what are the main benefits of a colon cleanse? Well, my experience has been that oftentimes people feel lighter, they don't feel so weighted down by all of the matter that can be um, impacted in the colon. I also have found that, um, you know, people's skin has a better quality yeah, to it. That definitely happens to me. Mine too. Mine definitely did. <laughs> totally. Mine too. And um, also that the metabolism, the, the, the body's ability to metabolize actually has improved. I found that with myself mm -hmm. that um, over the years that I've been getting um, colon cleansing done, um, I've just found that my body is really much more efficient with food and how, it, and how it moves through the body. You know, and um, I think that one of the biggest things that it does is it helps to encourage people to change their diet and yeah. to eat more live foods, green leafy vegetables, fruits where mm -hmm. associated mm -hmm. or where needed, mm -hmm. and also um, just being more conscious of what goes into their bodies. Right. Um, because when you see what comes out, it, it, it's very encouraging right. to change. Yeah. You know? And it's great to know that all that stuff is out of your body, but it's also important because it helps you understand that you shouldn't be putting that same stuff back into your body so that you, know, you, you allow your body to function properly. Right. Now, on that same topic, if people say, some people may say, you know, I eat very well. I have lots of salads, lots of fruit. Uh, I may not need that. Right. And what I tell people is everybody needs it. 
because you weren't always doing that. Right. So you have some history in your body of the behavior prior to that point. Right. And so part of what the colon cleansing does is to help to encourage getting rid of the history. Okay. So that you can then start fresh forward in a new vibrancy and a new vibration of healthy lifestyle and healthy eating. I've also heard that some people say, well, I already go to the restroom regularly, two or three times a day. Do I really? Is this really for me? Like, I don't need to do that. I already poo enough. <laughs> right. Well, you know, I hear that all the time from men. <laughs> exactly. Women don't go there because they know their bodies. They know where they want to be. Yeah. You know, you don't hear that too much from women. They can kind of intuitively know that, yeah, I might be doing well with my body. And, you know, I might be going regularly, but, you know, it doesn't it's hurt. You know, I can do it a little bit more. That conversation that you just said, I hear all the time from men. Okay. And what my answer is, <laughs> just let's, let's do it and see. <laughs> because there is still history that based on what you were eating, whether it's today, whether it was, you know, two months ago or 20 years ago, whatever, mm -hmm. there's still some history in there and there's always stuff to come out because it's like a sewage pipe it's like you know cleaning out your toilet or the the, the pipes that are related to your sink or your toilet or your right. tub after and a while it, everything needs a little bit of a tune -up. exactly everything needs drain out okay <laughs> exactly. let's just call it drain out so this is drain out for your body <laughs> exactly Marika, you know. tell us um i've heard also people say that being a little bit concerned about whether it's clean or sanitary, does it hurt? Tell us a little bit about that. Right. Well, um, most um, therapists really take pride in making sure that everything is very clean and very sanitized. We follow, um, we, we use autoclaves just like in dentist offices and medical, um, in medical hospitals and things like that. Like many of us really um, take pride in making sure everything is very clean and very sanitary. Why? Because we use the same stuff. Right. You know what I'm saying? So right. we're not using anything on you that we're not using on ourselves. Wow. Um, so we definitely make sure that takes place. We make sure that the water is purified so a wow. lot of the okay. solvents and things like that are taken out of the water so that the water cool. is purified. Um, and you know, again, depending upon the water source, you know, we take that into account okay. as a practitioner. Um, Does it hurt? You know what? I just tell people, from my experience, it's just like going to the bathroom. Okay. You know? Um, and what most people kind of freak out about is like the entrance to start the whole thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I always say that's the least of your worries. Yeah, you know, exactly. Because that's no big deal, honestly. Sure. Um, men, women, Whoever I, I also have worked with um, children to help clean their colons, um, and you can go as young as eight. I've gone as young as eight in my experience, okay. um, because what I found is that a lot of school-aged children mm -hmm. don't go to the bathroom. Yeah, well, and I mean, it, they eat the same foods that their parents. Well, and the other thing too is that like you're in school, so you can't just get up and say, "Oh, I gotta go poop." You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And then if you do, you're not going to do it because and you know, poor other, kid, the poor so kid, it is heartbreaking. And it's one of the things that, you know, I would really like to share with, you know, adults is that it's very important yeah. for children to to have a process, whether it's through juicing and a lot of the, or detoxing that you, your program, like in the summertime, that's a really good thing to get them to do so that they can get a lot of that history out themselves and get their body functioning to its right. full capacity and efficiency. Wouldn't colon cleansing make my bowel a little lazy? In my experience, um, this is a, uh, a question that is uh, asked off. Right. And um, with the gravity method and the Woods gravity method that I work with, um, I found that it's actually helped make people's colons much stronger. Oh, good. That has been my experience. And even with myself, like, I've seen my body change in its ability to be really strong at pushing out on my own. Okay. So, and, and, and my goal with people is to get them to that point.
to where they don't need me anymore. Exactly. And um, and so I think there are you know some um, some pills like if you one of the things that we talk about is like senna can make it a little lazy uh -huh. things like that. So some herbal it's remedies some herbal. may make it a little easier or lazier for your body. To right. Make. But I, I really I really don't like to use the word lazy because I think that you know sometimes that has to do with just where that person's body is functioning and okay. that it can always improve. You okay. know what I mean? Um, and so that's just something I just caution people with certain herbal remedies because they become addictive for me and then it gets to a point where the body doesn't really respond to it just right. like when you do something too much and then the body is like oh. but this type of alternative therapy uh, is not necessarily habit it for me right that is, that is correct what about enemas this that stuff that people can do at home are they as effective as the colon cleanse I think that depending upon um, where what a person is trying to do mm -hmm. that they are effective like if they're experiencing some immediate discomfort in what I like to call the closest part of the out. <laughs> then, and then I'm about this to a beautiful, wonderful Marika. <laughs> then you may have to do it. Right, right, okay. right. And, um, you know, a colon cleanse using water um, actually just covers more of okay. the system than an enema does. And when you say the system, you mean of the body, the entire colon, as opposed to the enema, which covers only one part of the colon? covers one part or depending upon how much water you're working with uh -huh. like if you go to a pharmacy or something like that and you get one of those pre-bottled enemas that's not really going to go far you know as far as the process of how your colon is designed um, so you're not really covering a lot of right. the colon because with the colon cleanse you're actually cleansing the entire colon not just you the, can. the last part yeah it, it can. covers most of it if not all of it it can depending upon the person Got and it. what's going on with them okay. yeah another question that I've heard from lots of people is do you need to be naked doing this oh, no, no, no 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 um, it is my experience um, that, you know, just waist down, okay. you know, some people, you know, they um, bring an extra shirt or something like that. It just, depends on, cover yeah, themselves. It just depends on what they're wearing. And each practitioner is different. I know some practitioners provide robes and things like that, but you don't have to, you're not naked at all. And then what about after the process? Mm -hmm. Do I need to be stuck to a toilet or next to a toilet for the rest of the day? No, 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 no. no. Um, in my experience, with what, with with the way that I work with it, um, you know, you get a chance to empty out after. Okay. You know, and each experience can be different, and with each with different practitioners, it can be different. You know, just based on what the dynamic is, and you know, the, during the session. So. Um, for the most part, you don't need to hug it, but you know, <laughs> hug the throat. Right. But um, you know, but I'm not gonna say no. You know, okay. that may not happen. And I think that one of the things is that if that's something you're concerned with, to ask your practitioner because they should be able to tell you based on how your session is going, what give you a, a kind of a sense of what's gonna happen after. Okay. So, how often should I get a colonic? Um, great question. And um, generally, it's a very customized individual um, perspective uh, from my experience and how I work with people. Mm -hmm. So I take a look at kind of how things are moving and I provide a recommendation during the session. Okay. Um, based on someone's particular circumstances and diet and lifestyle. Based on exactly those history, days, some history and also where they want to take their healing and where they want to oh. take their lifestyle of eating okay you know because there are some people that may be on fast food today and want to be on you know 80 percent live foods what? you know what i mean yeah, yeah, and so that's a journey mm -hmm. and so in that journey there is um a way to work together to make that 
pro process possible. Correct. And it is it. a journey. In fact, mm -hmm. it doesn't take just one time and everything's great and back the way it was. Exactly. You know, and, and I have some people that will come and they just want, you know, their birthday colonic and they'll see me in another year. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know, but that what that's what works for them. And so we work according to what your goals are okay. and what you're wanting to achieve. And that's how we roll. Okay. <laughs> Wonderful. Um, is there anything else that I may have missed that you want to bring up or let, you know, our friend know about this wonderful, fabulous alternative therapy? Well, I think it's one of those things just to say that um, be courageous and have fun because it's not as bad as your mind yeah, is making it, it out to be. Too. And, um, and that this could be a turning point in your, in your process. And especially with a detox program, a lot of times what I tell people is come in first, then do your detox, and then there's strategies in between there as far as how to incorporate yeah. the colon cleansing in that detox process. Yeah. Because a lot of people start the detox process and then start to have these uh, sensations or feelings or emotions and a lot of things right. like that because their body is changing and the colon cleansing process can support minimizing some of the you know, uh, I don't want to say negative, but some of challenging the, the challenging moments emotions, yeah. of the process. Wonderful. Yeah. Well, that's a great way to finish <laughs> this interview. I want to thank you again, Marika. Oh, thank you, Javon. Marika is my personal colon cleansing therapist. I love her. I've been doing uh, <laughs> colon cleansing with her for years, and that's probably the reason, I mean, I, I certainly... Uh, let everybody know that this particular practice has changed my life and I'm pretty sure it will change yours. If you have the curiosity and you have a little bit of courage to try, you'll see the wonders that is colon cleansing. Uh, Marika is based in New York City and Marika, tell us where we can find you. Is there someone based in New York that wants to uh, come and see you or take a yoga class with you? Mm -hmm. So I, I can be found on Facebook at Glowing House NYC, and also my website is myglowinghouse.com, and if you're in LA, I have a really great person there, and also in New Jersey, okay. I have great people there, so if you're in any two of those places, you can't make it to New York, we can hook you up. Wonderful, and of course you can always leave a comment below letting us know what you think about all of this and share, share, share this video with all of your friends all over the internet because it's that important. Your health and well-being is our number one priority. Absolutely. So thanks again for having us and if you want more tips on how to live a healthy, happy and beautiful life, sign up for my weekly newsletter at JovancaCiares.com. See you soon. Bye.